At least one person is dead and at least 115 have been detained in Cuba, stemming from some of the most intense anti-government demonstrations on the island in more than 60 years. This as citizens face an extreme economic crisis. And now Cubans are getting a boost from international protesters. Phil Keating has more from Miami. Continued cries for help in Cuba. Embroiled in an economic crisis, Cubans are voicing grievances against crippling shortages of goods like medicine and food and rising prices. Some calling for an end to the communist regime. This is an inflection point and America ought to stand up and speak boldly on the side of freedom and against the communist dictatorship. And many Americans are. Frustration boiling over outside the borders of the island nation with shows of solidarity in several states and multiple cities in Florida. On Tuesday, a group of protesters in Miami blocked several streets, including a major highway in both directions during rush hour to make their voices heard. The world needs to know what's going on in Cuba. The world needs to know that government needs to be brought down. Lawmakers on Wednesday echoing those calls. Florida Congresswoman Kathy Castor is calling for island government to step down. There has been a total collapse under this communist regime of civil society. It's a collapse under the weight of corruption and communism. The Biden administration is also under tremendous pressure to step in. With Democrats unhappy, the president hasn't reversed President Trump's hardline stance against Cuba. Meanwhile, the Cuban government is tightening its grip on the country by shutting down the internet and social media, leading some Florida Republicans to call for private companies to mobilize to provide access so the Cubans' voices can get out. In Miami's Little Havana, Phil Keating, Fox News.